What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we did quite a few things. You know, we went uh, to grab some uh, rare items, capture a new Pokemon, do some things right and all that crud. Yeah, now we got a good team. Well, we're, their team's, you know, slowly forming. And I did say that, you know, in this walkthrough, we're going to be having a nice all-star team. It is what it is, guys. So, anywho, in this episode right here, we're going to be continuing our side quests, okay? We're not going to be earning badges or anything like that. We're just going to be straight up earning, uh, well, we're, gonna, we're straight up going to be doing some side quests because there's quite a few things that we need to do before, uh, you know, there's quite a few things that we need to do before we even get badges. And first is first, we need to we need to get ourselves uh, quite a few repels because, yeah. Now, my beef is... How come repels cost so much? I don't know. It really, I, I really don't know. So, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be going east of Ecrotech City, going into Mahogany Town. Why? Because, well, there is a Pokemon out there that we want to capture, and then an item that we need to get. Now, if you see right here, yeah, we get ourselves the TM65 Shadow Claw. Now, off screen, I went back to, I would like to say, oh, to Goldenrod City and grabbed myself, what was it called again? Uh, Electroshot, or what was it called again? They were in, it's right here with a uh, good old fluff bolt right here. Yes, we got ourselves Charge Beam, and lucky, lucky, it was on our third attempt. I was literally going to restart the game and see if we can get it in less than three attempts, but and there it is. So we gave it Charge Beam, and as you guys can see, Charge Beam. The user fires a concentrated bundle of electricity. It may also raise the user's spe special attack. That right there is good because of its nature and all that stuff. Yeah, we're ready to go. Okay, so now we go right here. We get bumped into this guy. He's like, oh boy. Sorry that I bumped into you. Did I hurt you? Please don't cry. Here, take this. And look at that. We got a two for one. HMO4. That move is called strength. When a Pokemon learns it, it can move boulders out of your way. Enjoy the happy mountain climbing life. Okay, alrighty. So, let's go right ahead and move on to our next adventure, and that is going to Mahogany Town, because we got stuff to do. We got plenty of stuff to do, and, well, we gotta, we gotta get attacked by Pokemon. I know that for a fact. And, well, if we had cut, we could go down here, and we can grab those uh, apricorns, but we, we're not going to be doing that anytime soon right now. So, here we have a, day, a super potion, and, well, let's see. We're going to be going right here. Now, in the last episode, too, we actually captured uh, Nessie. Yes, we've been using good old Quagsire. <laughs> Lucky. Yeah, we've been using him as a, you know, as a tool for our little instruments to get to the next person. Oh, <laughs> poor, poor Lucky. Poor Lucky. Okay, so, let's see. Let's go right ahead. Actually, we already have Fluffolt uh, right here, so let's go right ahead and start battling some people right here. Anywho, guys, uh, I failed to talk to talk about this uh, in my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough, so I'm going to do it right here. So yeah, guys, I know that I took a week off from both Pokemon Emerald and HeartGold SoulSilver, and that is because we wanted to finish up the whole uh, Fire Red walkthrough and all that stuff. There are plans... I do have plans to transfer Pokemon from Fire Red to this game. Hell, even trade Pokemon from Fire Red to Pokemon Emerald. And it, to me, it kind of feels like I kind of need to... Um, I kind of want to double or triple the Pokemon that I have on my team. Mainly because... Yeah, we're going to get this guy's phone number. Mainly because, well, if we trade it over to Emerald, yeah, it's going to be cool. You can get it back whenever you want. But if you transfer it over here to Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, you won't be able to get this Pokemon back. So I kind of want to cover all my bases, have all my Pokemon where they need to be. And this is the reason why we can actually, you know, trade Pokemon or, you know, breed Pokemon and all that stuff. And yeah, this is not much of a secret place right here. So we're going to be speeding up this whole thing. And yes, good old Hercules, I've missed you. Brute force, and we're gonna go straight to Togepi right here. So yeah, guys, we're, we're yeah we're definitely planning for what's ahead. Um, I am I am totally not going to be battling uh 
I'm not gonna be... I'm not gonna be going into the red battle with lower level Pokemon. I mean, you guys have already seen me defeat red, battling the Elite Four 20 times. I, you know, I could do it right here if I wanted to, but... I don't know, I, I think you can, right? Battle the Elite Four 20 times here and then get your Pokemon to a right level? I don't know. So here it is, guys. We are in the... We are in Mahogany Town. And this place is very, very, uh, well, it's very small, and it does have this right here, the gym. And if you guys remember in the old Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough, yeah, it, yeah, it didn't fare too well. So, now, if you try to get out of Mahogany Town, this guy won't let you because he's like, I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a Yummy Rage at Candy Bar. Right now, it's yours for just 300 bucks. Sure, let's go right ahead and do that. Okay. Anywho... Um, let's see. We won't be able to pass this guy until we have completed the whole, you know, Team Rocket situation. Now, if you go into the Poke Gear right here and go straight into the radio portion. Yeah, you're going to be hearing some weird transmissions. This is some weird stuff. This is some weird stuff right here. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to heal my Pokemon, and then we're going to be going... We're going to be heading north of, uh... Well, Mahogany Town. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're all healed up, guys, and ready to go. And, well, it is time for us to take an adventure up north. Now, there is, uh, two things. You can either go through the other end... Or you can either go through the grassy area, or towards the easy entrance on the right side and all that stuff, but it will cost you money. So let's go right ahead and start battling anybody and everybody. Now, of course, I did not bring any Pokemon that knows a uh, cut, so that's going to be a big uh, negative for me because there's going to be some items that you can actually grab around here. And let's see. I think the, the, I think the important part for me is to go and capture the Pokemon that is uh, up north right here. So let's go right ahead and use Nessie and go with an Ice Shard right here. Didn't want to do that, but here is Surf Attack. And just like that, we have defeated this individual. So like I was saying, guys, this is... what? Well, let's see. This is the trainer tips. All Pokemon and pros and cons, depending on types. Yes. Yeah. If you go right here, you're going to get attacked by... Well, not attacked, but you're going to get harassed by some Team Rocket members. They're going to take some money away from you. Yeah, you don't want your money taken away. So go right ahead and start battling everybody right here, guys. So let's go right ahead. Brick Break. And just like that, we have defeated this guy, or this chick. So, yes, let's go ahead and take her number right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and surf and see what's up. Now, at some point in time, you guys can you guys can uh, encounter one of the legendary dogs right here. But it just depends if you like it, you know, if, if it's still roaming in that same exact area right here. So, let's go right ahead and switch it off to Cinder right here. And talk to this guy. Hey, do you have rare Pokemon? Yes, I do. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with a flame wheel attack right here. And there we go. Cinder grows to level 30 or 29. So let's go right ahead and go with Thrasher right here. Dig attack. And bam. Look at that. Level 24. And you know, it's probably a good thing that our Pokemon are th at this level right here because, well, you know, leveling up is a little bit easier. And, well, there we go. Bam. We got ourselves a another phone number right here. Now, let's see what happens uh, right here. Okay, so here is an item, Max Ether. And, well, that right there can actually help us out later on if we decide to train some more Pokemon. And, well, I love Pokemon. That is why I started and I keep on collecting Pokemon. Hmm. Okay, so here we go, guys. Going to take on uh, uh, Pokemaniac Beckett, and he does have himself a pretty strong Pokemon right here, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Fluffle and Charge Beam. Look at that. Increases our special attack, and well, <laughs> this guy takes our ability to attack, so let's go with this and this, and we are no longer disabled. So we, use, we practically use every single one of our moves to get this guy down, and well, there you go. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, see what kind of Pokemon attacks us. And look at this. We found ourselves a giraffe rig. Yeah. 
And well, our mother will be calling us and we're gonna be attacked by Pokemon. I'm purposely doing this right here, so I'm gonna slump. Maybe it's a year I'm using, uh, I'm, I'm using. Let's battle for a change of pace, okay. So let's go right ahead and battle this guy's uh, weak Pokemon, his Magikarps. And he's going to be coming out with the uh, Gyarados right here, so that's pretty cool. And let's go with the Charge Beam Attack. And just like that, we get to level 25, and it's learning, learning Charge. Now, never seen the correlation of this. The user boosts the power of Electric Move. It's, uh, it uses Next. It also raises the Special uh, Defense Attack. I would love to use this, so let's go right ahead and take away Cotton Spore, since, you know... Thunder Wave, Thunder Wave, and it's Static Attack. It's, it, you know, it's already slowing down a Pokemon right there. So let's continue on right here and go with not that. So let's go with a uh, Charge Beam right here. And just like that, we have defeated our opponent, and our mother calls us yet again. So I wonder, I wonder what kind of uh, item she got us. And well, here we go with another Flaffy. So if you guys are looking for Flaffies, Easy Flaffy, there it is. And here we are in the Lake of Rage. This spot is particularly uh, special for us because, you know, it is raining, and it is raining, and what else, you know? You can't surf around this area right here, so they made it a little bit easier for us to actually get some items, but later on, after, you know, after we capture the legendary, or we get the red Gyarados and all that stuff, all of this will actually flatten down, and here we found ourselves a red flute. Let's see what we are talking about right here. Red Flute. Uh, where's the Red Flute? What the hell? Okay, so the Red Flute's on our battle items. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's just a one-use turn. A Red Flute made from blown glass. Its melody snaps people, Pokemon, out of infatuation, so... Oh. Well, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so... <laughs> I thought that you can actually use this move. Well, you can actually use this move, or you can actually use that kind of stuff, and well, here we are getting attacked by a Magikarp. Let's go right ahead and start using some repels right here, so let's see. Yeah, we bought them for a reason, so let's go right ahead and uh, yeah, use these repels. Now, one of the items that our mom has bought was a Silph Scarp, so that's why I have a second one right there. And well, let's see where this leads us. Thankfully, we don't need Cut for this, so it's probably a good thing that, you know, <laughs> Let's see, what, uh, what what can we find? It is raining, it is pouring, and there's no old man snoring, but you know what? He bumped his head? Hope he's not dead and stuff. Yes, I just did that, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, use a repel yet again, and what do we have right over here? Nothing. Okay, so... Wow, okay, so we probably went through the wrong area. Let's see... Yeah, <laughs> this place, wow, we have to go all the way out here, and yes, we're going to be using all, <laughs> yeah, all of our repels for this one right here, so let's go right ahead and, wait, actually, did I use a repel? Yeah, yeah, okay, so I'm not really looking at the screen right now, so, <laughs> okay, so let's see, come on, there's an item right there that we can probably use, and there's a house right there, holy, holy, holy crud. And here we found ourselves the TM43 Secret Power. And that move obviously works on any kind of terrain. It differs from the terrain and all that stuff. And I think just about every single Pokemon can learn it. So let's go right ahead and go towards this house. And well, look at that. So we're here. And if you talk to this individual, he's like, You have strayed far. Here. I have meditated inside me. A new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with your Pokemon. Take this, child. We grabbed ourselves the TM10. I believe that is a hidden power. Look at that. It draws out the power of the Pokemon for attacking. Remember this. Its type and power depend on the Pokemon using it. And a whole bunch of math equations. Yeah, a whole bunch of math equations. Okay, so... What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to get back to the original spot that I, I strayed off from and get straight to the Lake of Rage. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are in the spot that we strayed from and I just took a look right here, guys, and well... I didn't even know... I didn't even know this, but you can come right here and bam, there is the Red Gyarados. So what's going to happen is I gotta save this game because this Pokemon is way over-leveled for all our Pokemon and obviously... 
you know, we got a huge power up with both the rain and the type of move that I want to use right here for uh, for Fluffle. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Fluffle. And let's meet up with this Gyarados. As you guys can see, this is the red Gyarados. Bam! Shiny Pokemon. The very, very first one of its kind. And... Well, this actually started a trend with a lot of the Pokemon trainers out there, like, you know, Shiny Hunters and all that stuff. Obviously, I'm not one of them. But here, the Red Gyarados, level 30, very, very powerful Pokemon. Gonna have to go with a Thunder Wave, and yeah. <laughs> Does have its Leer Attack, because yes, it will try and, uh... It will definitely try and, uh, what was it called, uh, beat you with its physicality right here, so... Yes, the rain is still falling. And I'm I need to hit it with like at least one charge beam before, you know, we actually have to switch out our Pokemon right here. So here we go, charge beam and this Oh wow, nearly defeats this Pokemon. And here comes a leer attack from Gyarados himself. So there we go. We're yeah, we're 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 definitely uh in a bit of a pickle right here, so Let's go ahead and switch out to Nessie, and, well, let's see what happens here. Hmm, and yes, you cannot move, you wild-ass Gyarados. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go to the bag, and uh, let's see. Heavy Ball will probably not work because, well, it is it is heavy, but let's go ahead, let's go ahead and, and see what the Heavy Ball does. So let's see. Damn it! Okay, so Heavy Ball does not work, and it's still doing a shiny thing, and, well, here comes a Twister attack. Not so effective. So, the good thing is that we actually got ourselves some five, uh, five, uh, five Great Balls right here, so this would probably, hopefully, will work. And where's one? There's two. There's three. Damn it! Okay, so, yeah, this Pokemon is not, is not trying to get captured, so let's go ahead and try another Great Ball right here. Come on. Come on, Gyarados, you know you want to be part of my team. Two, three, and there it is. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. Alrighty, so... Here we have Gyarados. The atrocious Pokemon, both water and flying. They say during the first strife, Gyarados would appear and leave blazing ruins in its wake. And, well, because it's, a, it's our second Gyarados... We always have to go, you know, we always have to, you know, separate the, the blue from the red. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello again to our good old buddy, Hydra number two. And, well, that's not that's not the proper thing. I really wish I could actually use this Pokemon on my team, but, uh, you know, we already have, like, you know, we already have these type combinations and stuff. And, well, hopefully later on in our walkthrough we can actually level up. And use it for good and all that crud. So there it is, guys. Hydra number two has been attained. And after after attaining a Hydra number two, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you beat it or not. You will get yourself a red scale, which is a rare scale. And before we go to Lance or anything like that, there's quite a few things that we need to do right here too. I noticed this. Look at that. Found ourselves a ball right here. Here we found a choice specs. And I don't know what exactly it is, so let's go ahead and take a look. Choice Specs, look at that. So it's an item held by a Pokemon. These distinctive glasses boost the spe uh, special attack, but allow only one kind of move to be used. This looks like a good, uh, this looks like a good, yeah, a good item for my, uh, my Flaffy and its, uh, Charge Beam and all that, so, since it is a special attacker. So, I think I might be using that for later on, and well, I don't even know what I'm doing right here, so... Let's go right here, repel, and just like that, let's get the heck out of here. Alrighty, so... Let's see what this person is all about. I heard I heard this lake was made of, uh, by, by Rampaging Gyarados. I wonder if there's any connection to their mass outbreak right now. And what this person is talking about, let's go right ahead and take a look at what this uh, this mass outbreak is. So let's see. I wonder... Okay, we didn't get an, a good rod, but it's worth a try right here. Uh, wait. Oh, seriously? 
Whoa, okay, so it looks like we can't fish. Can you? Hold on. Let's see, we're using it. Okay, I don't know why we couldn't fish. Maybe there's an item right there. And we landed a Pokemon. And this Pokemon is a level 10, uh, level 10 Magikarp, so yeah, never mind. Okay, so there must be a reason why we couldn't get... We couldn't fish right here, so let's see, there's nothing. Yeah, okay, never mind. Alright, so our mother has called us yet again. That can only mean one thing now. After capturing the Gyarados... Let's see, talk to this guy. The Gyarados are angry, it's a bad omen. Before we talk to this guy, let's see. Uh, fishing Guru's house. Did my eyes deceive me? I saw, I saw a red Gyarados in the Lake of Rage, but I thought Gyarados were usually blue. Probably. I don't know, so let's see. Talk to this guy, Lake Rage is actually a crater made by rampaging Gyarados. The crater filled up with rainwater and the lake has formed. That's the story passed down from my grandpa and my great-great-grandpa. It used to be the that you could catch lively Magikarp there, but I don't understand what's happening. Oh. So, let's go right ahead and talk to this individual right here with this Dragonite. That red Gyarados wasn't acting right. As I feared, somebody must have forced it to evolve. Did you come here because of, of, the, of the Wild Tales? You're Draven. I'm Lance Trainer like you. I heard some rumbling, so I came to investigate. I saw that you were you battled earlier, Draven. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Sure, why not? Excellent. It seems that the Lake of Rage's magic are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany, Mahogany is probably uh, what's causing it, and it's suspicious uh, at in the in that suspicious uh, souvenir shop. I'll be waiting for you in Mahogany, Draven. Okay, and that's pretty cool. That's cool. I want one of those. Anywho, guys, this has been our adventure right here. And the next one, we're going to be going back to Mahogany, and we're going to be uh, taking on some Team Rocket members and all that stuff. Hope you guys come in and join and watch the whole, you know, shebang and all that stuff. Anywho, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient, as always. If you guys want to make a small donation to the channel, there it is. Heart button's right there. And a big thank you to every single one of my uh, YouTuber fans, you know, for sending in a donation and all that. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver Walkthrough. See you guys.